What does the Economic Survey 2023 reveal about the economy and different sectors? Well, here is what our in-house experts have to say. So the Economic Survey has uh, dedicated a full chapter to inflation, a subject that was so prominent all through the year globally as well as in India. And uh, it talks about how when India managed uh, inflation, inflation management was really excellent compared to uh, other economies, other developed economies. Uh, it has raised some red flags uh, through the year, uh, you know, commodity prices may increase, but the inflation challenge is likely to be much, much better uh, in the coming financial year. The economic survey shows that the unemployment rate has declined when compared to the pre-pandemic levels. The net addition to the EPFO payroll also shows an upward trend. The majority share has come from the youth. For the rural and agriculture sector, there are basically two or three major points which have been highlighted. Big push to the food processing sector to help agriculture grow, to improve farmers' income, to improve agriculture exports. Also, one major point in the survey was the, the it said that in FY22-23, that is the year which is uh, coming to an end in the month of March, the rural inflation has been higher than the urban inflation and the inflation impact of inflation and consumer inflation has been more on the rural folks than on the urban. Also, it says because of this high inflation, the real, real rural wage growth has been negative, which gradually as inflation comes down and where inflation is moderated, the real rural wage growth will also improve. Talks about is that uh, the economy has uh, fully recovered from the pandemic and that the economy will grow in the range of 6 to 6.8%. With the baseline projects are up 6.8%. The second significant point uh, the survey makes is about the medium term growth. Uh, so the survey says that uh, with the kind of reforms that the government has uh, undertaken in the last eight, nine years, the economy is uh, projected to set to grow in the range of uh, in around 6.5%. And if further reforms are taken, then it, it can grow in the range of 7 weeks. Revenues from the direct taxes and GSTs were the key facilitators of economic recovery, according to the Economic Survey. Revenue revival is attributed to a rebound in the collection of all major direct and indirect taxes except excise duties in FI22. The gross tax revenue registered a year-on-year -year growth of 15.5% between April to November 2022 on the back of robust growth in direct taxes and GST collections.